Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about weekly stock market update and we will figure out is it bullish trend what's going on with the weekly time frame for stock market world. Please subscribe for YouTube channel, click like button to support the channel, I really appreciate Simple Trading Style works for any ETFs, any securities, any time frames. Let's move to trading view. Let's start trading view, stock heat map it's a daily performance you see a lot of technology i'm sorry technology green electronic technology green the technology services green and some yeah finance mix retail a little bit yeah, retail is green right home depot walmart costco amazon that's all let's check let's check weekly what's going on weekly performance weekly performance technology is still green everything else is red retail is partially green costco and amazon but a lot of red only technology green that's all let's move to uh, let's move to charts and we will do technical review if you want to learn more about uh, trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. Let's move to, uh, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using moving averages, white line, it's a SMA 200, yellow line, EMA 20, red line, SMA 10, green line, SMA 5, buy and sell script indicator, MACD indicator, green line bullish, red line bearish white line signal line high Kanachi indicator red red bars bearish green bars bullish rsi indicator yellow line cues let's start start cues weekly time frame you see this green line it's a major trend line from the top of the market and uh, looks like recently we tested already we already last week it was very yeah last two weeks very was positive right two huge week previous week was let's see let me maximize it a little bit yeah, like this one yeah two last week very green you see this one it was august 2022 we detached we detached the previous week and this week we did move even higher it's uh, like we, we met at the april april 2022 april 22 and you see the, we have it still has bearish divergences on the his, macd histogram still bearish divergences bearish divergence only one rsi already destroyed still bullish trend you see last bar very disconnected from 20 and remember my style very simple right when bars like here when ma5 and 10 and bars about 20 it is bull and 20 is uptrend it's a bullish trend right very simple when ma5 and 10 and bars below 20 and 20 is downtrend it is bearish trend very simple now bars ma5 and 10 about 20 it is bullish trend weekly time frame it's a bullish trend and remember I don't trade trade on the weekly or monthly to quarterly time frame. It's good for investors. For my swing trading, I'm using four hours and daily time frame for entry and exit position. Weekly, just observe the market trend direction. And on weekly, it is bullish. Look at it, bullish RSI very overbought ter in over overbought territory. Definitely wants to have some correction. Like I said, bar last bar very far from twenty usually when it's far from 20 it wants to connect back to 20. each time it's far from 20 it wants to connect back to 20. that's what we are expecting i believe next week it should be red bar should be red bar we'll see let's check uh daily what's going on daily it's a green bar nice green bar daily and uh yeah, it's still, let me bring it like this one. And bearish divergences, multiple bearish divergences. You see price action is uptrend, MACD downtrend. 
Okay, like I show you already this one, it's a downtrend for MACD histogram. MACD histogram, it started It started over here in January, right? And let's see, June, June 2020, even far, even here, right? It's unbelievable. And it's still, still bearish divergences you see on, on the histogram. Look at it. Still. Still below, yeah, like over here you see, touch, touch, still bearish divergences on the histogram. No power for, no volume for uh, queues to move out, move up. Price action is uptrend, but bearish divergences on all indicators. RSI just recently created bearish divergence, you see over here on RSI, just recent from this point. Bullish trend on daily, bullish trend on weekly with bearish divergences for Q's. Q's the most powerful index. Only Q's the most powerful. Let's see S&P 500. S&P 500, let's start weekly. Weekly, it is, you see, it's flat. This is the January 2023. From January 2023, it's flat. If you move it, I'm sorry. Uh, let me extend this line. You see, this is the August 2022, same level, even higher, a bit higher, we moved a bit higher, but same level from August, one year, more than one year, right? More than one year, it didn't gain anything. Same level. It is positive, still positive trend, but not strong like like uh, Q's, not so strong like Q's. Same trend, because you see MA5 and 10 and bars about 20 and 20 is uptrend, it's a bullish trend. It's a bullish trend, but it's not so powerful. Look at it, from the, if we, we, if we make it from the August, right? From the August 2022, it's still bearish divergence. Nothing happens, still bearish divergence on a histogram, MACD histogram. Still same bearish, let's see, on RSI, no RSI doesn't have, RSI is already destroyed bearish divergence, no bearish divergence on RSI, RSI has, I believe from this point, right, you see, yeah, a little bit, but it has divergence from this point, from January, just for this year. Bearish divergence on the weekly time frame. On, but on, on, the, on the MACD histogram, it's a huge divergence. Uh, still positive, still bullish, still uh, uh, last bar above all moving averages. It's a hammer bar. Usually it's a positive bar. Um, let's move to daily. Daily, nice, nice. Yeah, it just reached the same. Same level, same level, right? Same level. Same level, bearish divergence. You see the price action is uptrend, bearish divergence is on the, on the MACD. MACD has bearish divergence, you see. Bearish divergence. On RSI, also bearish divergence. Same bearish divergence on RSI. On daily time frame, bearish divergence is everywhere for S&P 500. And signal, and signal still positive, still positive, still green on the Hikonachi, on MACD, on MA5. Still buy signal, still positive signal on daily time frame. That's what we observe for S&P 500. Daily and weekly still positive. Let's move to Dow Jones. Dow Jones weekly time frame uh, similar but yeah dow jones is weakest right weak because you see the last bar 
It was a red bar and it closed below MA5, 10 and 20. And MACD changed color from green to red, bearish. Bearish, bearish crossover, bearish reversal. Uh, Heikonachi red and RSI did bearish crossover. Bearish reversal. Bearish trend on all indicators. For Dow Jones on weekly time frame. It's still at, at MA20, but signal is bearish reversal. And you see Dow Jones didn't move anywhere. Same price action from last year. Dow Jones very weak. Bearish on weekly, let's see on daily. On daily, similar bearish trend, right? Because like you see, all bars in my 5 and 10 below 20. Even the last two bars, it touched. Last three days, it did touch 200. It did bounce from 200. We'll see, will it continue bounce? Or it will be rejected from MA10 or 20. So far, it's about 200, but it's still below 20 and 10. Bearish signal on all indicators on daily time frame. You see, daily and weekly Dow Jones is bearish. Let's move to IWM. Let's start weekly. IWM. Very weak, right? Because MA20 did bearish crossover, it's below 200. It is negative territory. When 20 below 200, it is bearish market trend in the negative territory. Because you see MA5 and 10 below 20 and 20 below 200, it is bearish setup. Negative setup. MACD red, even Heikonachi green, but Still in the bearish setup on weekly time frame. Russell 2000, the weakest index. The weakest index, and remember, it's 2000 mid size USA companies. It's a half of USA economy. Q's, it, it's just NASDAQ 100. It's, it's just 100 uh, tech companies. And it was driven not just 100 by 100 companies, it was driven just by 10 percent of the 100 companies by 10 companies only uh, that's why it has huge divergences huge divergences okay bearish trend weekly time frame for iwm let's move to daily 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 it's kind of mixed mode it's still the same setup my 5 10 and 20 below 200 it is bearish trend and uh MA5 just moved to 10 about 20. It is positive, positive signal. Positive signal on MACD, Heikonachi red. Mix, yeah, mix mode, kind of positive, but still in the negative territory on daily time frame. IWM still negative, still bearish. Apple, let's start Apple. Apple daily has yeah, still a yeah, huge bull run, right? Huge bull run since October, since October last year. It's bull run with bearish divergence, with bearish divergence on MACD on daily time frame, bearish divergence on RSI, huge bearish divergence on RSI, and yeah, MACD is still bearish divergence on, on uh, histogram, multiple bearish divergences. Apple wants to go bearish, and after it will go bearish, it will be huge effect on the queues. Let's move to, to weekly. Weekly, let's see weekly. And weekly, this is the major trend. I don't wanna, I don't like it. Let me change it. Let me make it weekly like this one. Maybe. No, it's still too high. Still too high. Let's see. It's definitely at this level. Definitely at this level, right? That's what we have. It is. It is previous August high. August high for Apple, similar like Qs, right? Similar like Qs, August high. On weekly time frame, no divergences. Still bullish trend. Still bullish trend. Last bar very far from 20. We know that rule when it's far from 20, it always wants to connect to 20. I believe next week it will be sell off and it will be red bar. And yet, specifically, you see, for last 10 weeks, it didn't generate any red bars. 
should be some correction still bullish trend on all, all indicators especially rsi and very overbought territory for last four five six weeks six weeks of an overbought territory seven weeks in overbought territory it will be some correction like here you see it was overbought territory what happened it did sell off it will be sell off still bullish trend on weekly time frame for apple let's move to tesla tesla weekly time weekly time frame it's very weak tesla is weak right because m820 just did bearish crossover it just it didn't make bearish crossover really but it touched 200 it merged to 200 merged to 200 but ma5 and 10 below 200 it is bearish bearish setup even last bar moved about 200 but it's uh, MACD is still below to, uh, zero line. High Kanachi RSI green. It's a positive. Positive signal still has uh, gap below. It's not on weekly on daily time frame gap below. <clears throat> Bullish setup, but yeah, I yeah, made 20 did bearish crossover. It is very negative. It is very negative. When 20 does bearish crossover it is very negative let me show you let me show you what's going on what's going on with it you see ma20 was above it was bullish now ma20 bill did bearish crossover it is bearish it is bearish not a strong signal for tesla not a strong because 20 did bearish crossover over 200 still positive still positive signal as of now but not very strong we'll see it's in decision mode right now it's at the and may 220 all moving averages in the narrow state all together from this point we will see what will happen right this for us in narrow state stock tesla can go up and it will be bullish or Tesla can go down, it will be bearish. Now it's a narrow state on the weekly time frame for Tesla. Let's check daily. Daily you see MA20 and 10 and 5 below 200. It is bearish territory. Last bar did touch 200. Will it be rejected from 200? We'll see. We'll see next week. Will it, we will get rejection or it will continue to go bullish. MA200 still downtrend, still bearish. Uh, still, yeah, signal is bullish, you see, Haikonachi bullish, uh, MACD green, MA5 about, te about 10, bullish signal, B bullish signal on all indicators, on daily time frame, RSI even touched 200, I'm sorry, 200, overbought territory, and it builds some bearish divergence, you look at it, now. let me show you on daily time frame, on RSI, it's a bearish divergence, on the sideline because price action is uptrend right on daily time frame bullish signal on daily time frame weekly it's kind of flat weekly is kind of flat let's move to baba let's start baba baba weekly time frame baba is very weak right the cma 20 below 200 very weak very negative all moving averages below 200, very negative. MA5 and 10, still below 200, it is bearish signal, bearish signal on all indicators, still bearish, still bearish trend. Still bearish trend. Still bearish signal on all indicators, MACD, Haikonachi, all bearish. Baba is bearish on weekly time frame, especially 20 below 200. On daily time frame, Baba is bearish too, because you see 20 also, 10 and 5 below 200. It is bearish. It did touch 20, it did touch 200 over here, and it was rejected, like a week ago, it was rejected. Now it's a by sell signal by the script. And below all moving averages, MACD red, Haikonachi red. Even last bar was green, but still bearish trend. It tested this low and it did move even lower. 
next one I believe is like 75 and, and 58 after it level bearish trend on daily time frame for Baba and weekly time frame like I said it's bearish also right bearish trend let's move to Nvidia Nvidia very strong stock very strong stock this bar 20% more it's like 25% bar 25% bar yeah 25% bar it is uh 25 plus this one this one 25 previous bar really 20, 10% it's like 25% for last two weeks previous week was 10% 10 and a half this one 25% 24 and a half 25% move for last two weeks it's like looks like as exhaustion bar exhaustion bar because it it's a final bar definitely final bar because you see it's disconnected from 20 it I would I would not buy a lot from here because I would do short from here because if you are comfortable I would do short from here because it's very overbought very overbought and very far from 20 you see this point this level and this one from level i i don't know if you will find this the same kind of setup this one was a similar maybe from here to here right how many like 240 250 to 350 100 points 100 points this setup and this setup 250 to 349 it's, it's 150 points it's even bigger it's like 50% bigger than this one and this one what what happened here when we saw this kind of disconnection on 20 huge sell-off it was huge sell-off started from here it was sell-off up to October huge sell-off similar can happen here exactly the same you see from this point it can go lower it can it can be sell-off very strong sell-off today CEO they all they using that AI artificial intelligence this is the bubble yeah we have artificial intelligence but it's not a it's not it's not a reason to bring stocks 30 percent for last two weeks the same is Tesla did the same right we just saw it Tesla did it the same when when the, was manipulated by, by by Elon Musk same now same now with the nvidia it's another tesla it will crash it will crash i think next week will be red next week will be red bar will be red bar i don't know it will be the same or it will be partial but it will be red because you see rsi also in very overbought state very overbought state for a long time since since what since january for last five months RSI in the overbought state for last five months from here you see from what from from this point from January to this for last four months it is overbought state it will it, it will be over it will be over bullish and especially it has bearish divergence look at this bearish divergence on the histogram on the on the on the MACD histogram it's a bearish divergence bearish divergence I believe it wants to have bearish correction Nvidia wants to have bearish correction we'll see next week believe believe me if not next next week next two weeks next couple weeks it will be correction because it cannot continue to go up forever uh, let's move to daily nvidia daily nvidia daily you see it especially it left huge gap 20 percent gap it left 20 percent gap and uh, yeah this 20 percent gap will be will be will be closed yeah on daily time frame all 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 divergences were all were destroyed all divergences were destroyed bullish trend on daily time frame no 
Nothing changed. Same in over what territory on the other side. We'll see next week will be red days. Will be red days for NVIDIA. It's a FOMO. I would not buy from this point. It's FOMO, but yeah, it can be just pushed by the FOMO. Okay, let's start. DXY. DXY very nice. Bull run. Green from oversold territory. Bull run is also last bar. It's in decision mode. It's a daily time frame. It's disconnected from 20. It can have some correction connected back to 20 because it's disconnected from 20. Bullish trend, it's an over RSI and over bad territory. Over bad territory definitely wants to have some correction. That's what we have. And let's check weekly. Weekly USA dollar also bullish. Look at it. And we find it bullish crossover over 10. And last bar closed about 20. It didn't close about 20 for a long time. Last time it was about 20. Uh, November 2022. Yeah, it's we'll see. Will it continue bullish trend? MACD green bullish, Haikanachi green bullish. A decided bullish crossover bullish trend on weekly time frame for USA dollar. And it will be negative pressure on indexes. That's all. Let's do summary. Let's do summary. Like I mentioned, Q is the strongest index on weekly time frame. The strongest index. And it's, it's very on overbought state. Like I mentioned, it was pushed by 10 stocks. Like Apple was very overbought. Like Nvidia was very overbought for last five months. This like two mega they, they 10 mega stocks will when when 10 mega stocks will collapse. It will destroy queues very quickly, very quickly. And remember, interest rates still the mega high, mega high, about five percent. And we should remember it. Um, that's all. Yeah, S and P just flat. Nothing changed for last year, like for last twelve months since the, since this level. It's August, right? For even more, one and a half years, still the same level. Now Dow Jones. Still negative, still bearish on weekly time frame. IWM also in the bearish territory. IWM Dow Jones negative on weekly time frame. S&P 500 flat on weekly time frame. No changes. Only no, it's flat, but it's positive. It's positive. At least it's positive. S&P and Q's the most bullish on weekly time frame. That's what we have today. Thank you so much. Let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. And remember, for educational purposes, we are using paper trading account. Thank you for watching. Please read it. Thank you for watching simple trading style video. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe for YouTube channel. Click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Tomorrow I will do monthly review.